Have you ever dreamed of making your own 3D games? Well, this is the tutorial for you. Step by step, week by week, I'll be walking you through how to build your own 3D game engine. My name's James, and welcome to the Dev Genie Academy. We're going to be covering terrain generation, lighting, animation, blender models, multiplayer support, and so much more. To do this, we're going to be using Lightweight Java Game Library 3, and also OpenGL 4, and we're also going to be using the Java OpenGL Maths Library as well. So let's get started. First, you want to have your own Java IDE. I'm going to be using IntelliJ. You can download the community version for free from their website. Once you've installed IntelliJ, create a new Gradle project. If you don't have Java installed, select the project SDK and select Download JDK. I'll be using Java version 16.0.1 because this is the latest version available to IntelliJ right now. Once you've done that, give your project a name. Mine's going to be the Dev Genie Engine. And in this episode, we're going to be getting the environment set up. That's going to include LWJGL and JOML. In the description below, I've added a link to where you can get the two additions to the build.gradle file we'll need. The first is the project.exe lines. They need to be added above the group and version line and below the plugin line. Don't worry if you don't have a group line at all. Before copying across the dependencies, make sure that you remove the defaults first so the dependencies is empty. Once that is copied, you can rebuild the Gradle changes by clicking on the icon that pops up or by pressing Ctrl, Shift and O. If this is all good, then the build will be successful. If it is successful, we can now create our first package by right clicking on the Java folder inside main. Make sure you're not doing this inside of the test folder. I've deleted mine just to make it a bit simpler. I will call my package com.devgenie.test, but you can name yours whatever you like. After the package is created, let's create a launch class. And inside the launch class, we'll create a test entry point method, which is just public static void main with the arguments of a string array. Inside of this method, we can test that everything is working as intended. We can do this by doing a system.out.println Inside of the system.out.print line, enter version.getVersion, but make sure when we're importing version that you are importing the LWJGL version class and not any others. You can now test this by right clicking and selecting run or by clicking Control, Shift and F10. Once the application is run successfully, we should get 3.2.3 build 13 printed out into the console. So that was a nice short and sweet episode here today, but next week we'll be looking at the actual window so we can actually get something rendering to the screen. But thanks very much for watching and keeping out for the next episode next week. If you've got any questions, drop them down in the comments below.